Today I have a whole ecosystem on review, built around the Polka Fantasy game. It is a comprehensive gamify ecosystem integrated with a metaverse and play-to-earn mechanism as well as a multi-chain solution to create a seamless NFT gaming experience for anime lovers, collectors and games worldwide to connect, interact and have fun. The project team has created various blockchain products, including multiplayer blockchain games, an NFT marketplace and an NFT wallet to embody the vision of an authentic Japanese ACG world on the blockchain. Let's begin with the legend that is a part of this game's storyline. A thousand years ago, Legardia emerged in this world. In Legardia, magic creates mana, which spreads across the land. People use mana to prosper in an unprecedented way. Mana comes with a price, the dark sphere, but mana can also be the core for all curious. And so the war for mana begins. In this game people have been fighting for mana non-stop and many nations were destroyed. There are only three countries left. The commercial nation Ertasa and the military nation Balbatos Esta. They are prosperous nation because of the wealth mana brides. The two countries have continued the war to monopolize the Guardia, the only source of mana. Ignia, on the other hand, took part in the war, believing that the world will be ruined if Ertasa and Balbatos Esta took over Ligardia. The nation hold a strong belief against the use of mana. The damage caused by the war between these three countries was temporous. The leaders discussed and signed a treaty to decide the owning rights of Legardia in the proxy war. At the end, the sacred place, Colosseum was built in the center of the three countries along with representatives sent by their leader. You can also see that a significant number of characters have been well developed. You can get to know each of them individually. Let's take one of these. For example, this character is named Mila, passionate martial artist who controls the melee, one of the 12 legendary weapons. She has extraordinary stretch in her legs and can jump over twice as far as a normal person. Being nocturnal, she cannot exercise her powerful fully until the night. She used to be a part of sects, but due to her extreme stretch, she became isolated and practicing quietly alone in the mountains. Loneliness creeping onto her, she has a thrill of making friends with someone as strong as her and Tersh wants the fight against the strongest in the Colosseum. Just by clicking on the slider below, you can familiarize yourself with each character. And also, when you go to the weapon section, you will see a variety of the different ones that you can also explore. Good news! The project will soon be concluding an IDO on the community's platform. Token type is Polygon, token address to be announced, total supply 4 billion zeni, initial market caps 268,000, swap rate 0.00035 USDC Polygon or BUSD Binance Smart Chain. Last staking and voting period is Tuesday, 20 June 2023 at 3 o'clock UTC. Preparation period is 12th of June 2023 at 9 o'clock UTC. Target price and $150,000. Vesting 20% unlock on day 1, 2 months cliff and next uh, 6 months liner unlock. Don't forget to subscribe to the project social media channel and don't miss the opportunity to participate in the token sale. I like the project too. 
Considering that it's the in beta version, the game is expected to be awesome.